Hey guys, Kate Kennedy here for the Blitzy Creative Team, and today we're going to create some really cute little 3x3 three three cards and envelopes. So I'm starting off by going through my scraps and 6x6 six six paper pads, and I've chosen a bunch of patterns that I want to use for my envelopes, and I'm just cutting them down according to the directions on the We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch. And whatever size you want to make, you just follow the directions there. It tells you what size to cut the paper and where to start the score line. So for this one, you're going to first punch and it creates the little divot in the envelope and then you're going to score and you're going to go around to all four sides and do the same thing. And since it's a square, it's the same measurement on each side. Now, um, if you're creating a card that's like for an A2 size or envelope for an A2 size card, you it would be different on the side. So just make sure to look at the little chart on the bottom left hand corner and it tells you how to do it. So now I'm just creating the little envelope using some adhesive to close it and my bone folder to make sure that it's nice and creased. And I'm going to fold them up and look how cute you get this tiny little envelope. And I call these happies because they're something that I love to, you know, put in my husband's briefcase or, you know, tape to his bathroom mirror or when my mom comes over, I stick it in her purse. Or if I go to a friend's house, I'll leave one for them. They're just little happy gestures that let someone know that you care, that you're thinking about them, or if it's for a certain event or something, you could always create, you know, a, a birthday one or a baby shower, whatever it, you want it to be. They're also really fun to make as a set and give them as a gift with all different occasions. So if you have a stamp set that has a lot of different sentiments on it, you could just use one stamp set and maybe one or two paper lines that coordinate and create like a set of six or 10 little cards and give them as a gift. I think that is a great gift, but they're just really fun to make. And I like the idea of using up some scrap paper and using six by six paper pads and um, just using my, my products I normally use for scrapbooking for something else because I just love paper in general. So now I have all of these little envelopes created and I've taken some just white cardstock and cut it down. Some I did like folded cards and some I just made, you know, just a little like slip of paper to put inside that's not an actual card. And I'm going to take this stamp set from Amy Tangerine Binders Keepers line, I think it is, and just stamp, I think it's going to say hi, lovely or something like that on the front. And I'm one of those people, I call myself an overzealous crafter because when I sit down to do a project like this that's not specific to a certain line or a certain photograph, because a lot of times whatever picture I'm using will kind of dictate what products I use so that they kind of tell the story correctly. But with something like this, it's so it's such a broad spectrum that I'm t I tend to be one of those people that will pull out like all of my favorite things, which would be way too many to ever use in this lifetime. So I have to limit myself. So I pick a couple of paper pads or five or six, a couple of stamp sets, a couple of inks, and then I kind of just gather the embellishments that I have laying around my work surface, my work area, because I or my craft room, because I kind of just, if I think I'm going to use something and then don't, I kind of just set it in a little, you know, bowl or something around my desk. And so I kind of just gather all those things. So now I've gone through and created all of these little decorated envelopes and cards and they have all different things, sentiments on them. Some say, hey, some say thank you. I think I did a birthday one and some envelopes I decorated a lot. I used a lot of washi tape and some I just kind of left more minimal. And as you can see, oh, I, this is a sticker sheet that I used for part of one that I'm showing you there. As you can see, they were super easy. I think it probably took me from start to finish maybe 35 or 40 minutes, not very long at all. But I used, like I repeated a lot of things. So I used black and white striped washi on a lot of different things. I used that Hero Arts Ombre ink pad and I used a Versafine black onyx ink pad. And just kind of repeated the same things, but mixed it up a little bit by using a different stamp or a different paper line or a different washi tape. It's a great use for washi tape too, because I have a lot of washi tape and I love it. So I'm just going to kind of go through these and show you in a little bit more detail. Some of them I added some watercolor to, and then at the end I'll have some final um, pictures to show you what they look like all completed. So thank you guys so much for watching 
and um, check out Blitzy for a lot of these products that I used in the video today or just to get some inspiration. I will see you guys real soon. Bye.